Science is a study of nature, behaviour of natural things and knowledge, but how do we bring that to the mass audience? As a student, I found science hard in school and did not pass the subject at GCSE. There is the Science Museum which brings the subject to the mass audience for people who are interested. There are even interactive activities which help the general public get into it. The Science Museum also sells books which brought my interest into science book writing. So I took a trip to visit Dr. Nessa Carey for an interview. So I'm here with Professor Nessa Carey. Um, thank you for having us um, do this interview with you. Um, you're a science writer and uh, what kind of area of science do you write about? So I write about genetics, I write about DNA and I specialise in writing about all the stuff that's unusual. Normally when you're taught about DNA at school or at university they basically teach you a version which is not strictly true. They ignore all the difficult weird bits and those are the bits I write about. So with your books, um, how did you get them published? I was really lucky. I looked for an agent online and I followed his instructions and sent him the information about the book I was planning to write and he really liked it and he accepted it and just by chance it turned out he's the world's most successful non-fiction agent. So I was just incredibly lucky which was brilliant. So with the books that you publish, um, what is your main ambition and what do you want hope to achieve um, with the message that you bring out? The first ambition was completely personal. I've loved books since I was a kid. I was a complete book nerd. And I just wanted to be able to see that there were books on a bookshop with my name on them. I just thought that would be amazing. Then the other thing I want to do is help people enjoy science because science is in many ways really interesting and really fascinating. And it's great to be able to open people's eyes to that. Uh, are there any sort of tips that you would give out to people who want their work published? Yeah, do loads of research online, find out what agents are looking for and publishers are looking for and don't give up. You will be rejected by people and you just have to listen to why they're saying that your book isn't what they're looking for and you need to keep going. Take the advice, learn from it, but don't give up. So how is your writing career different from your science career? My writing career is done for fun. I'm really lucky. I make enough money from my proper career that I can live on. So when I write books, I don't have the pressure of trying to make a living from them. I write them purely for the creative fun of it. Who is your audience for your books? Usually the audience is people who are interested in science, who are not afraid to learn new stuff, but not specialists. For me, there's no point writing for people who already have PhDs in genetics. They know this stuff anyway, and it's not very difficult to write for them because they know all the technical language. My books are aimed at people who are interested in science but are not scientists necessarily. So I want them to be really accessible. So um, who are your inspirations? Oh, my inspirations are all those scientists who have come before and have done amazing things and who I want to tell the world about. They're all those scientists who do brilliant research but maybe aren't so good at explaining it to the general population. They're the people who inspire me. I want to do a good job by them. Well, um, that's all we've got time for. Thank you, Professor Nessa Carey. Um, we wish you good luck on your next science experiments. Thank you very much. I learned a lot from what I've done in that science writers are open for people to come and read their books even if they have no prior knowledge and in many cases write books for the mass audience. This and the Science Museum goes to show how open the community is for newcomers and that if you dislike the subject at school, it doesn't mean you dislike the subject forever.